Minister of Luxembourg, Xavier Patel. I want to thank you for your commitment to changing the lives of those living in poverty and I'm here tonight to tell you about another life that was changed this summer, mine, on a recent trip to Africa. Last month I went to Malawi to visit some of the essential programs funded by the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. ETAF was founded by my godmother Elizabeth Taylor to provide grants to organizations offer offering direct care and services to people living with HIV and AIDS all around the world. If you're too young to remember who Elizabeth Taylor was, she was not only one of the most famous actresses of all time, she was also one of the most fierce activists in the fight against AIDS. She was passionate She was passionate, she was outspoken, she was a real badass. <laughs> Thirty years ago, almost to the day, our then president, Ronald Reagan, would not speak about AIDS publicly while the pandemic was wreaking havoc within the gay community. He wouldn't even say the word AIDS. Elizabeth Taylor was having none of that. She wasn't going to let this crisis run wild as it directly impacted her friends and loved ones, those the administration considered discardable. Undaunted, she went to D.C. and she spoke as loud as she could. From the Oval Office to testifying in front of Congress, Elizabeth would not be silenced. Her tireless efforts led to Ronald Reagan finally uttering the word AIDS publicly in 1987. And so here we are decades later, living under a president who lost the popular vote and has proven himself to have the compassion and empathy as a dead flashlight battery. <laughs> slashing health care funding for HIV and AIDS worldwide. So now here I am, hearing my godmother's voice urging me to be heard and not allow all that's been accomplished in finding the cure to fall by the wayside. But listen, I've got real news for him. None of us were discardable in 1987 and none of us are discardable now. for people affected by HIV and AIDS, particularly those in the most marginalized communities, lies at the heart of ETAF's work, as it did for my godmother. My trip to Malawi inspired me to advocate for those lives of those within the HIV and AIDS community. AIDS-related illnesses have stolen the lives of 35 million people since the beginning of the pandemic. We need more champions for comprehensive sex sexual health education in developing countries and in this country if we truly want to prevent new transmissions. And we have to be honest and open about the unique stigma that comes with an HIV diagnosis. We have to break down the stigma if we are ever going to see the end of AIDS. We all have to call on our governments and our world leaders to work to secure a healthier future free of stigma for everyone. So that's why today I am pleased as well as ecstatic to announce that I will be an ambassador for the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. I am deeply committed to advocating for this cause in my new role, working with progressive leaders such as Prime Minister Xavier Battelle. Good evening. I'm very pleased to be here tonight with my husband, Gauthier, and with Paris here. Pleased also to be able to talk about issues that I strongly care about, namely the LGTB issues. These issues are related to my personal history, but not only. It should be an issue that concerns everyone. Being gay is not a choice. Homophobia is one. robust investments made to the Global Fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria. 
This has helped lead to dramatic improvements through affordable and effective interventions that prevent mother-to-child transmission of HIV and ensure children are vaccinated against life-threatening illness. Together, we've cut material and child mortality rates worldwide by more than a half. These successes highlight what can be accomplished when we work together, but greater effort is still needed. We must continue to invest in adequate and quality health for girls and women, including sexual and reproductive health services, which is critical to ensure a world where every pregnancy is wanted, every childbirth is safe, and every young person's potential is fulfilled. Together, we can achieve. Together, we can and we have to achieve a world where she decides. Yeah.